Hello and welcome to learning ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to talk about how we can add authorization to our Hangfire dashboard. So in our previous demo, we integrated Hangfire to our MVC project and in this demo, we are going to add authorization. So here I have opened the project and if I go over to the Hangfire, then the dashboard opens. But we want to restrict the unauthorized user from opening this Hangfire dashboard since it contains the list of our tasks and we can directly run task or background operations from this dashboard so we want to protect this so let's do that so in order to use uh, authorization in our hangfire dashboard we need to do couple of things here so first of all we need to create a hangfire authorization filter and uh, here I have created a folder called filters and inside that I have created a plain class so it does contain nothing here just the C sharp class now we need to implement I dashboard authorization filter from the hangfire dot dashboard namespace now we need to implement the interface here and this contains the authorized method and this expect us to return the boolean value so here we have a context available from that context we can access http context and this http context is same as uh, same context that we can access from the mbc controller and with HTTP context, we can get the user logged in uh, login status. So what we can do is we can do return HTTP context dot user dot identity dot is authentic authenticated. So this returns true if the user has been logged in. Otherwise, it returns false. Now the second step is we need to go over to our startup. So I'm going to copy the name of this filter here hangfire authorization filter now we need to go to the startup and here in app.use hangfire dashboard we can pass options here we can do we first can, we can specify the url of the hangfire dashboard so let's give it slash hangfire and the second option is we can give the dashboard option so let's let's pass new dashboard option and then inside the dashboard option we can pass the value here we have authorization equals and uh, this authorization is a <coughs> list uh, this all expect us to pass the list so we are going to create a new list new array and then here we need to pass our authorization filter that we just created so let's pass this now with this now our hangfire dashboard has been authenticated so i have run the project and it's uh, started it has started up so let's refresh here and now if i move over to the hangfire then it, it shows nothing like this is an invalid url or it doesn't found anything so it give us a 401 but let's log in the user uh, uh, and I have already created the user test at the rate gmail.com password so it's a password wrong password let's create a new user here new at the rate gmail.com password and uh, it require us to confirm the email let's remove that and we can remove that from our startup.cs by making this to false so let's save this and then it is starting up so let's go to the home let's log in new And we have successfully logged in now if we go over to the hang fire then we see the hang fire dashboard so in this way we can authorize the hang fire dashboard and only allow the authorized user to access and run the task from here and also we can uh, specify what role or the what user with what which role can access the hangfire dashboard and in order to do that we need to do a couple of things here so let's say you only want uh, the users with the role hangfire admin to access the hangfire dashboard so to do that we need to uh, inject several things here first is we need user manager 
identity user did this comes from asp.net core identity framework and we don't need to install anything here this comes by default we also need role manager identity role role manager and uh, let's create a let's bring in the namespace for them and let's create a field for the role manager and let's create a field for user manager create an initialize field now i have created a one empty action here now in this action i'm going to write a code to give uh, the newly created user a role of hang fire admin so let's do that first of all we need to create a role and in order to create a role we need to do role manager dot create and it has a async method here and we can pass a role and i'm going to create an object of new identity role and then pass a role here so let's give it a name of hang hang fire admin so let's save this and we need to avoid this here now we have created a role this adds a role with the name of hang fire admin in the database now we need to uh, find out the user to which user we want to give this role so variable user equal to uh, what I am going to do is uh, user manager user manager dot find by name async and uh, we find the name that is the our new user new at the rate gmail.com that we just created before new at the rate gmail.com uh, let's save this this is also an asynchronous so we need to await now we can use user manager and then add to role async and we can add this user user to the role our hang fire admin role so let's copy this and uh, paste it here hang fire admin so let's do await now what this does is whenever i call this method it adds our new at the red gmail.com to our hang fire admin now if we wa only want to allow the hang fire dashboard with the uh, user who has a role of hang fire admin then we need to make a small change here we need the user to be authenticated and we need http context dot user dot is in role and we can pass the role here and our role is hang fire admin and in order uh, this in order to work we need to in order this for to for work we need to make a small change here here initially we have services dot add default identity but once we inject this uh, um, identity role here role manager with identity role then it won't work so we need to change this to add identity and with identity user we need to pass identity role and then here we need to do add default ui and we need to do add default token providers so this is all we need to do to make it work so i have saved and let's try and run so it's running now let's go over to our project and then i'm navigating to the hang fire so it doesn't allow that means uh, uh, our we haven't assigned this user to a hang fire admin role so as you can see you can go hang fire and we cannot access that now let's assign this new at the red gmail.com a role of hang fire admin so in order to do that we need to call this method so i'm going to call this method here slash home slash this url and it has called that method now let's go back and uh, i need to log out first and then let's log in and then let's do let's log in new at the rate gmail.com with password now if i go over to the hang fire then i can successfully log in now let's go back to the site let's log out and let's let's register a new user so second at the rate gmail.com and this user has been logged in but we haven't assigned the role of hang fire admin to this user and if this user tries to access the hang fire then 
that user can't access that dashboard so in this way we can control access to the hang file uh, dashboard uh, only to the authorized user or only to the user with the specific role so this is it for now friend and if you like this video then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also share it to the, uh, your friends and thanks for watching have a great day